What's going on, everybody? David Delano, one of the writers and handicappers with winnersandwiners.com. We're going to have a free pick for you guys. Another pick in college basketball in just a moment for Thursday, December 8th. Make sure you go ahead, like, and subscribe if you have not already. This video is brought to you guys by No House Advantage. It's fantasy sports redefined. Check out the link in the description. Use the promo code WNW. Get yourself a first time deposit bonus of up to $50. You can also use my promo code on my best bets, 60% off. The link is in the description. You know, there's always different hot and cold spells during the season sometimes and during the year. Um, right now, my best bets have been hot. Hit on my sixth straight best bet yesterday. Took over the total in the game between the Sacramento Kings and Milwaukee Bucks. Looking to cash on my seventh straight best bet tonight and on my fifth straight NFL best bet as a best bet is going to be going in the game between the Raiders and Rams for Thursday night football. So you can check out the link in the description for that. Um, yesterday we uh, hit on the uh, free pick. Got more messages than normal about that uh, free pick as I took over the total in the game between uh, Sacramento State and Denver. Um, I gave it out at over 138. It dropped to 134. I know there were some concerns about that. Um, but I wasn't worried about it just because I knew that Denver's leading scorer was out. Um, and I think that there was a little bit of an overreaction to that. But you still had the nation's second best team in field goal percentage. Fast-paced playing team. That one went over the total. Um, it, it did go in overtime, which sent it way over. But even before overtime, it did um, go over the total. So looking to cash on another pick there. Like I said, you know, you guys can follow Fade. It is all up to you. Personally, I really don't care. I'm just giving out the information, trying to help you guys out, do a lot of research on these games. I'm not right every time, but um, you know, I give you the information. You can take it for what you um, you know want to to help you make your betting decisions. Um, if you want to um, fade me just solely for the fact of fading me, more power to you and God bless. Um, I do tell you, though, at the end of the year, you will be down. But anyway, let's get into the uh, play for today, and um, a little bit of a tight card today. Not gonna, it's not my favorite card in the world, even though I do love my best bet, but um, I'm going to go with the rivalry game in college hoops. We're going to take a Colorado State as a five and a half point underdog. This is going to be the first time these teams have played each other since 2019. They used to um, go at it every single season, but... Um, Colorado State, a, a veteran team, went to the NCAA tournament last year. Their top player from last season is now with the uh, Memphis Grizzlies. But they also have a Colorado team who their top player from last year is also is with the Portland Trailblazers. But um, they replaced them with a very strong Division II transfer. And Colorado State does have their top two scorers back from last season. Isaiah Stevens missed the first seven games. He's been back for the last two games looking looking good. Um, Colorado, a little harder for me to trust in this one. They've dropped their last four games against the spread, and they've only covered the spread in six out of their last 22 home games. Colorado's been a little bit of an up-and-down team. They've lost to Grambling State as a 14-point favorite this year. Got a Colorado State team without Stevens earlier in the year. They did beat South Carolina by 32 points as a one-point favorite. At the end of the day, I think that this is going to be a tightly contested emotional game. I can see either team winning this game outright. Not so sure that Colorado State wins, but I do think that they're going to come out and fight in this game. And I think that they can keep this game within five points. So I'm going to go ahead and take Colorado State plus five and a half in tonight's rivalry game over there. Kind of interested in what uh, Mason Fultz thinks about this game. I know that this one's right in his neck of the woods. But God bless everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, just trying to give you guys information. At the end of the day, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, no sweat on my back, but I do appreciate you guys for um, for watching here. Best bet, though, we may go in for our seventh straight best bet tonight. That's what's been um, cooking for me lately. Link is in the description. Let's have a great day.